subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel iphone 10 versus the iphone 10s speed test let's go ahead and begin with a boot up test in three two one and see which one can get there first now these have a little bit difference in ram we have four gigabytes of ram here on the right and three gigabytes of ram here on the left apple a11 bionic chip apple a12 bionic chip so this is supposed to bring a little bit more improvement in the speed like 15 percent faster and like 50 percent in the gpu you see the iphone 10 is blowing away the iphone 10s in the boot up test that is very odd but the iphone 10 with the win there on the boot up test okay so let's go ahead and test out the face id to see if there's any differences here in response time three two one you can see the 10s looks a slightly ahead three two one and the 10 has definitely a head there for recognizing my face. And let's do one last test. Three, two, one. And that time it was the 10. So they're pretty close. Let's go ahead and swipe up. Getting in the home screen about the same. They're pretty close. But I do feel after using the 10s for a few days now that it's a little bit faster when it comes to the face ID unlock. But it's very slight. It's not like drastically faster. Okay, so welcome to the application speed test. You can see everything closed out on the 10 everything on the 10s can the 10s pull ahead in any way shape and form let's begin with calendar you can see no no real differences there what about calculator again very slightly to the 10s but no real differences let's go into clock you can see look like very similar let's go into twitter and you can see twitter is ahead for the 10s on that one but i mean that is definitely not anything to go pay a thousand dollars for what about snapchat you can see the iPhone 10. Let's go into Instagram. And you could see that looks about identical. Whoa. I mean, it's really hard to see the difference. And I got to be honest with you, in the past few days, I've been analyzing these closely. And I've been feeling like I just bought the same exact phone in the 10s Max. Or the 10s, excuse me. The 10s Max is the one that feels like a real upgrade here. And you can see similar performance. What about the prime video but i do have to mention that the camera is definitely improved and it's very noticeable on a 10s versus the 10 let's go into jaws the pictures just look better but we'll talk more about that in a future comparison about the same there what about amazon and you could see amazon loads about the same again see these real world differences whether you have 5 million or trillion transistors or whatever in the a12 bionic neural engine and all that geek stuff you know it's basically in the real world about the same what about the slither let's go into slither in three and i couldn't even count because they're so fast but the slither opens about the same again let's go into jetpack joyride and you can see they're gonna open again very closely here and about the same so before when we had like the upgrade from the iPhone 6 to the iPhone 6s, it was a generational leap. It was pretty big. Like the A8 to the A9 was huge in the processor department, huge gains for the 6s. But I don't see those gains to be as huge here from the iPhone 10 to the iPhone 10s. So let's go into PUBG Mobile and see what happens here. And we'll speed up to get to the match. Okay, so the GPU is faster for the iPhone XS, and it did load PUBG slightly faster. I mean, it was in a few seconds, not, not like anything huge, but definitely got to give it to Apple there. They have faster gaming performance on the XS for sure. Let's go into N22 Benchmark, and you can see very similar again. Let's go into Geekbench, and loads first there for the iPhone X. And Geekbench on the right. Let's go into speed test. You can see speed test again, very similar. So video shop. And you could see again, very close. And what about camera? And you could see again, very close. But the camera is, like I said, better. You'll see it in a future video when I do the sample side by side. But what I got to say here is basically the same performance on both of these. But where you're going to see the iPhone XS a little bit faster is in the gaming. And I think in the long term, as apps get require more power of course it's going to be a better long-term phone but as it stands right now if you have an iphone 10 this is definitely not an upgrade i would do okay so let's run through these multitaskings and see if we get anything different here on both i don't even know if multitaskings is a word but multitasking you can see nothing on the reload and we have the same performance here for PUBG, dead trigger 2 both paused by jetpack joyride 
let's go into slither you can see both did open there ebay and it's not like it's a bad thing that you have similar performance the iphone 10 was like the best performer on the market last year just about so you know having this a12 bionic chip is only better for you but what i'm trying to say is that if you paid a thousand dollars last year you're kind of just throwing more money for just a slightly improved processor i mean yes it's not slight technically speaking but what i mean is day-to-day -day real world use you're not really going to see those numbers that are claimed so there you go boom very similar again no reloads on either but you do get more ram here which is a benefit at four gigs for the iphone 10s okay so let's head into an internet test go to apple.com and you could see very close performance both perform very fast there okay so let's go into how about this android central 321 you could see that opens up at a similar time on both still loading up here and you can see there's a lot going on for this android page and very similar stuff there let's click the next one let's hit another tab and let's go into how about yahoo.com three two one see what we get on yahoo.com very similar just click the same article whatever up here and you can see very similar performance scrolling zooming nothing is much different here ios has been very well optimized for safari for some time so in internet browsing you're not getting any upgrades there that that are felt all right guys so here we are at a video rendering test both of them are shot at 4k 60 this is just a short 30 second clip of 4k 60 let's hit next and see which one renders faster three two one and you can see compiling the video will the a11 beat the a12 or will the a12 beat the a11 it should be the 10s but maybe wow i think that was really close again so again video rendering very well optimized on both devices so what we see here is that so going from a 10 to a 10s is not going to be life-changing when it comes to your video rendering either at this point okay so the final geekbench scores are in and unlike last year you don't have huge bragging rights over the prior edition iphones as it's not a huge update here in the geekbench yes it is impressive to see you go from a 10,605, which is already a huge score to 11,347, but it's not like you went from 10,000 to 15,000. so these scores are just to say oh i have a faster geekbench that's basically all i use them for is to say yeah my phone's faster than my last phone but other than that real world performance you've seen it here so in conclusion for speed for performance unless you are a hardcore gamer on your phone and you just want to be always on the fastest phone you can have for that gaming or you're doing video rendering from your phone and you just want to have the fastest cpu all the time because you're doing everything from mobile I don't think there's enough to justify an upgrade here in performance regardless of the things they talked about from the a11 to the a12 the ai stuff is just not caught on at the level where it really matters that much at this point people still use their phones like they did three years ago four years ago and do mostly iMessaging, instagramming camera youtube stuff like that so i'm going to be doing a more of a full comparison to see the real differences between these two but long story short what i'm seeing so far is a camera update is pretty significant it's a nice camera bump to the iphone 10s no pun intended on the camera bump getting larger than the iphone 10s and battery life should be a little bit better on this device but let me know your thoughts down below on the iphone 10 to the 10s do you think this is a silly upgrade for somebody to come from this do you think it's worth it because of the camera the battery you think the speed is just so similar and the phone's just so similar this is just just skip it all together let me know your thoughts down below or do you think a 10 user should just go to the 10s max just get your feedback down below help people out in the community as buying his iphones this year is confusing than ever and your feedback 